What up, Instagram and YouTube? It's your boy Salty Red Corn, and I'm back with another ill prepared knife review video. Today, I want to talk about a knife that was sent to me by My Bad Adventures. He's a really good friend. Go check out his YouTube page. He's got a really cool channel. Um, he hasn't posted in a, in a while, but he's got a new channel coming out, and I think he's going to get back to posting videos real soon. But either way, he's got plenty of content to go check out. Give him a subscribe, give him a like, give him all that. Uh, the knife that he sent in was another Bark River. All right, so this is the Bark river gunny scandy okay this is going to be a really good all-purpose bushcraft knife all right outdoors hunting bushcraft all that stuff this is going to cover it with the grind that it has it's got a low saber grind or a scandy grind right um nice 90 degree edge on it black micarta and it's very smooth and polished it's got stainless steel pins i added this bright orange lanyard on it for him um, he can throw in the trash if he doesn't like it, but I had this little piece of orange, bright orange, hunter orange lanyard on there. So I added that to him just for a little high visibility. You know, if he's out there using it and hunting, if he drops it, this thing's black. So this little bit of orange is going to give him something to find. He can look for the orange, all right? So just like the other uh, gunny that I checked out, the Ergos are super good on this. I like how it does not have a ramp. I know some of these come with a ramp, and the ramp's not for me. This is a rampless, or maybe I'm thinking of a different model, the Bravo. I don't know. I think that they get these come with a ramp too, but uh, this is an ill-prepared knife review video, so whatever. Uh, I really like how Bark River does their stuff, dude. I mean, this is nothing different from any of the other Bark Rivers that I've checked out, but this thing is really, really nice. Uh, they all serve a different purpose. Uh, like this has the saber grind. Like this is going to give you a lot of strength here right so if you're gonna baton wood or you're gonna do some chopping um, you're definitely you're definitely not gonna to lose anything you have a lot of strength behind the edge here there is some chipping on the edge of this blade just shows that he uses it right this could all be sharpened out pretty easily very easily actually this is CPM 3v so it's definitely a tough steel so he must have been doing something pretty heavy to give it some chips uh, but that's the whole point of having these knives is to use them right maintain them sharpen them you know keep them nice for years to come i consider bark river like an heirloom knife right these are knives that you can pass down that's how good the quality of these are is that you can pass these down to your kids um, or give them away as gifts that are going to last for a really really long time and uh i love that i think that that's amazing cpm 3v is probably one of the best steels if not the best steel right now that you can choose for an outdoor knife all right um, ergonomically fantastic it's a beauty got a nice grind on it uh, the grinds are even the grinds are even I know some people complain and say oh Bark River sometimes the grinds aren't even the grinds are pretty even the only thing that I can find that's a little uneven here is up towards the tip let's see if I can focus in on that for you guys up towards the tip it's a little uneven right you got a little bit more on this side than you do on this side but who cares these are all handmade there's like 200 steps involved that are you that are by hand to make these knives so I can forgive that right and that's really not going to affect the cutting performance at all right if you were buying this knife as like a beautiful showpiece to stick up on your mantle and, and show off or just keep in the safe and show off yeah I would be a little disappointed with that this one seems like a user to me all right so no harm no foul in my opinion beautiful sheath this is different than the gunny sheath I checked out I think this is a uh, really nice right you don't have the option for scout carry but this is a larger knife I want to say that this blade is at least four inches maybe four and a half um, so this is a really really nice sheath it fits in there well it's done really nicely I like this um, I don't know this bolstered piece right here, I guess you could say. I don't know. I like this piece right here over the top of it. It adds a little bit of depth. It makes it look nice and fancy, okay? The way that they stack the leather is always really nice. I like the wear on it. I like the patina on it. You can tell that it's been loved and it's been used. And I can really, really appreciate that. So, Bark River Gunny Scandy, CPM 3V, and Black Micarta, all right? You can buy this knife for about under $200. I know the retail is $299, but there's a price tag right on the box that says $179. So uh, definitely go check out DLT Trading. They're probably the best source for this kind of stuff if you want a Bark River or an LT, right? 
So let's talk about my EDC today. Today I am wearing a beloved watch. All right, this is one of the first real watches that I bought when I got into watches. This is the Seiko SRPE, also known as the Dress KX. I love this thing, right? This is my Rolex. <laughs> this is this is my Rolex, okay? It's got that kind of vibe and appeal, right? It's rose gold and stainless steel. Nice loom on it. It's just overall like a classy piece that you can wear pretty much anywhere. I wear this, I, when I first got it, I wore it daily and I still wear it a lot because I just love it. It's got scratches on it. It's, it's like, I love it. I just absolutely love the look. I love the feel. I love the fit. Uh, people compliment me on this all the time. It looks way more expensive than it actually is. It's a classic watch, right? <clears throat> and if we want to talk about watches, I think that as a man, you can accessorize yourself, right? With a lot of different things. And a watch says a lot about the person, the man that you are, okay? Not necessarily like, oh, he's got a Rolex. He's a really, he must be a great person. But um, I don't think that at all. I think that as far as stylizing yourself, like you want your watch to tell a story. It's the same thing I feel about like your truck. Like your truck tells a story about you, kind of um, embodies you. Same thing with knives. It's like the same kind of thing. Like you're gonna carry a knife that suits your personality the same way that you're gonna carry a watch that suits your personality. So I think that that says a lot, right? And I really appreciate watches. This is one of my absolute favorites. I will never, ever, ever get rid of this watch okay these things come in under 200 bucks like when they first came out they were like three but you can definitely find these especially on a nato strap for like 175 sometimes now on sale or one 150 i've seen them as low as 150 um so yes awesome watch seiko srpe or known as the dress kx love it um I'm not carrying a folder. Just stop carrying folders all of a sudden. I'm carrying a Bark River Adventurer Persian in CPM 154. I got this on a trade, if you guys remember seeing this. I think this thing's great. The sheath doesn't have a belt loop, so I stick it right in my pocket. I haven't carried it a whole lot because it doesn't have a belt loop right now. And I've been, as much as I said I never would, I've been wearing these knives on my belt, right? When you get into a smaller like knife like this, it's not very intrusive. And it looks nice. It looks nice on, on the belt, right? With these nice leather sheets. They look good. This one in particular, though, I just slide it right in my pocket. No harm, no foul. I've been using that word a lot, that term a lot lately. But it looks really good and it feels really good. It's a useful knife, all right? Um, I've been carrying this larger Olight. This is the i5R. It's got a rechargeable battery inside. It definitely got a, lot, a, a little bit more lumen than the i3T. Um, it's a little bit bigger in size. This is a limited edition colorway, right? It's got the gold pocket clip, you know, it's not rose, but it definitely kind of matches with my vibe today, right? I do like the red and silver. I think it's really cool. This is definitely a good EDC light. Okay. As usual, axial gear, pinch bar, black Cerakote over titanium. Really nice thing to carry. Works fantastic for me. Beast belts and knives. Minimalist wallet. I mean, check the quality and craftsmanship out on that. It's fantastic. I can't wait to get some custom stuff from this guy when I save up a little bit of money. Um, all right, let's see. Taurus GC3, okay? A new addition is the Olight Balder Mini. This thing is awesome. Definitely an awesome addition. It's got a laser and a flashlight. I had to get rid of my leather sheath my leather holster um, because it didn't fit with the light and I had to buy this Kydex one. I got this Kydex one off Amazon for about $40 and it's okay. It's pretty good. It works fine. It looks good. Um, I would prefer a leather one or maybe even like a, a hybrid, but for now, this one works pretty good. I just feel like it's a little bit more comfortable to have leather up against your belly than this Kydex plastic, but it definitely works fine. And I, I the trade-off by having the light on there um, is a big trade-off. I would rather have the light with the Kydex than a leather with no light, right? The light's big for me. Um, Mammoth headgear, mountain trucker hat in black. Still love this hat. I still love it. I've been really, really putting it through its paces, man. I've been wearing this thing really hard, and it works great, right? 
Staghead Designs silicone band. Like I said, I do have a fancy one. It's gold and koa wood and diamonds, but your boy's rough. I don't wear that every single day. Sometimes I like to pair it with this watch in particular, but I'm just not wearing it, right? I haven't been doing it. I've been, this thing like never comes off my finger ever, ever. Um, what else do I have? Do I have anything else? No, that's it. That's it today. All right. Oh no. Carrying a piece of black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is a really cool stone, right? I like to carry this. I like to carry different stones, but I'm carrying a black tourmaline today, right? If you like this kind of video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and tell your boy Salty Redcorn what you want to see, and I will do my best to make it happen for you. I appreciate all you people watching me, and uh, till next time, stay safe, have a great day, peace out.